Hey, it's John F. Gately, and in this edition of Massachusetts Insanity, we're going to hear from the Democratic Party official who's upset about special education expenses in the town of Framingham, and he says that, hey, if we had just aborted these kids, we wouldn't have these expenses. We're going to take a look at his quote in just a second, but really, this issue is more about how the Democratic Party is just wants more and more and more abortions, and they also want a war on pregnancy crisis centers. Let's take a look at this guy, Michael Hugo, from Framingham. Here's his quote. Our fear is that if an unqualified sonographer uh, misdiagnoses a heart defect, an organ defect, spina bifida, or an encephalopathic defect, that becomes a very local issue because our school budget will have to absorb the cost of a child in, in special education supplying lots and lots of special services to children uh, who were born with the defect. So it's our hope that this that the council tonight will pass this uh, this this ordinance. What he's saying is if the sonogram picks up a defect, you should have an abortion so that you can save the school committee money on special education. That's the most disgusting and craven thing I've heard in a very long time. Where in the world did he get that idea? I don't know for sure, but he may have been inspired by his own U.S. Senator, Senator Ed Markey, who wore an abortion pin, as if like he's a cheerleader for abortion, to the State of the Union address just earlier this month. There he is there, all dressed up, going to the State of the Union, wearing his abortion pin, which is probably not the first time he's worn it. I remember when Democrats took a much different position on abortion. You might remember this. Our vision should be of an America where abortion is safe and legal, but rare. So why did Michael Hugo make this statement? They were debating in Framingham an ordinance, which ended up passing 11 to nothing, condemning and discouraging crisis pregnancy centers in the town of Framingham. By the way, you should know that Michael Hugo is the policy and government affairs guy over at the Massachusetts Association of Boards of Health. Probably doesn't surprise you. You know, when I say Massachusetts behind enemy lines, I'm not joking, is theoretically behind the ideological enemy lines. So what was this ordinance? Well, let's take a look at the local Framingham website here. Here is the ordinance. In the very first whereas, you get an idea of where this is going. Uh, after the Dobbs decision, as many as 33 million persons capable of being pregnant. So you kind of already know where this is going because it's addressing persons, not women, but persons capable of being pregnant. Then there's several paragraphs of additional drivel, but let's get down to the bottom where they have the now therefore section. We want to explore, this is the town of Framingham, options of recourse in the event a pregnant person receives misinformation. Oh, we wouldn't want to get anybody uh, getting misinformation, would we? The government always provides the proper information. But what is misinformation? You remember this guy, everything he told us ended up to be true in the end, right? And easily provide information to inform residents of their right to file a consumer complaint and make a consumer complaint with the Massachusetts Attorney General's office uh, from the city website. So this is where the rubber meets the road and where the Democratic Party is attacking crisis pregnancy centers in Massachusetts. Meet our new attorney general in Massachusetts, Andrea Campbell, who just had this glowing uh, profile in the Globe. This is just like a week ago. One month into office, Andrea Campbell wants to tackle abortion, gun violence, and corruption as attorney general. Huh, how do you think she wants to tackle abortion? Well, one of the things is, straight from her website when she was running for office is to expose crisis pregnancy centers that intentionally provide medically inaccurate, in other words, misinformation, and dangerous information to those experiencing pregnancy. You'll notice that she can't even say pregnant women. She has to say those experiencing pregnancy. You'll also note at the very top of the page there, endorsed by Attorney General Moore Healy, our now new governor, 
Planned Parenthood, and the Boston Globe. You know, it's amazing how you, when you're endorsed by the Boston Globe, you also get a glowing profile in the Boston Globe. I don't know how that works. So with these allegations of misinformation and inaccurate information, what they're doing is laying the groundwork to apply the Consumer Protection Act against crisis pregnancy centers. This is known as Chapter 93A in Massachusetts. And it allows for up to triple financial damages for somebody that is deceitful in a business practice. Like if you hire a contractor to add a deck on the back of your house, he takes your deposit and you never see him again. That's what that law is for. But Andrea Campbell is going to now use that law to basically sue crisis pregnancy centers in Massachusetts. You know, there was a time in Massachusetts where our political leaders were dedicated to bringing more attention and care for intellectually and developmentally challenged young people. President Kennedy had this experience in his own family with his sister Rosemary, and through how the family dealt with that, they actually became leaders in highlighting the issue of uh, developmentally and intellectually challenged young people. Here is President Kennedy with uh, Richard Cushing, our cardinal at the time in 1963, who also dedicated his own life to these children. He's actually buried under the chapel at the Cardinal Cushing Center, which is a school for these kids, just about 15 or 20 miles from here. And Eunice Kennedy wrote a famous article in the Saturday Evening Post back in 1962, how the Kennedy's family own misfortune spurred the fight against a wildly misunderstood affliction. But now, Mr. Hugo from Framingham and the entire Democratic Party in Massachusetts seems to have forgotten all about that. I'm John F. Gately from Plymouth, America's hometown, Massachusetts, behind, as you can see, enemy lines. Have a good day.